what's up? Welcome back to Seinfeld's Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories Guide. So we are here at the new Mission Strand uh, that started from the phone call after finishing Shogun Showdown from Salvatore Leone back in Shoreside. But this one is going to put us back down here in Staunton, in the Torrington area, namely. Uh, it's a tea icon for Toshiko Kaysen, I believe. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a few missions here in Staunton until... You know, when we're done with that, we'll be heading back to Shoreside. But anyway, when you are ready, of course, save, uh, armor, health, I guess, whatever. And, uh, yeah, just step into the marker here uh, to start more deadly than the male. So, this is the big, tough gangster. You don't look so tall. Thanks. Do you know what it is to live without love, Mr. Tony? It is to live with hate. I'll take your word for it. It is my earnest wish to destroy a man, Mr. Cipriani. Destroy, not merely kill. I want him and his whole organization weakened and humiliated before he dies. I want him to suffer. Okay. This man I want you to destroy is my husband, Kazuki Kazen. Don't worry. For your services, you will be handsomely rewarded. Well, what if I say no? You won't. Because why I merely want him dead, you need him dead. In truth, you have already dealt him a severe blow, Mr. Cipriani. He is taking delivery of more munitions today. I want you to steal those weapons from right under his ignorant nose. Good. Goodbye. You know, I really hope they got a... Uh... <laughs> Japanese person to voice her uh, because if it was someone else doing a Japanese accent like wow you know uh, okay anyway so the Yakuza will be guarding their shipment you may need to you know call into fields to pick up more heavy you know weapons or whatever we don't need to do that just head on over and make sure you have your uh, maybe M60 or M4 and sniper rifle for sure uh, in order to take these guys out. All you really need to do is to stay up here at the uh, edge of the land and you'll see all the markers appear on uh, the radar. Now, of course, you know, there will be some enemies that you really can't lock onto. So with those, just take out your sniper rifle and you know, aim down or up, whatever, in order to take them out. Uh, again, just keep an eye on your radar to see what level and location the enemies are at. Uh, so, yeah, after I take this guy out, yeah, see, it, it get, just gets hard for me. I don't know if this is for this mission or if it's just because it's happening in my game, but the fog really doesn't do me much justice, I guess, or it, it always hinders me for, for a variety of reasons. So, yep, there's those couple of guys. Like I said, I'm using the M60, I believe that's what it was, right? The M60, yeah, I'm using that and the sniper. So, just slowly make your way down. Um, and being very careful of each and every person. Just kind of wait if you notice that one of them's moving towards you in order for them to <laughs> get in your line of sight. And then when you are far enough away, you should be able to, there we go, use your sniper to take the rest of them out. Like I said, it's just very difficult for me to see because of all the fog. I was having a really hard time, you know, trying to find these targets here. I was hoping to, you know, get the guys here on the boat, but like I said, the fog was just too difficult, you know, hindering my sights, our line of view, whatever. All right, so 
Yeah, keep moving down. There's only like one, two, three, four targets left, I guess. And that, of course, the blue boat is what you need to get into uh, in order to continue on with the mission. But shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, just take the guys out on the pier first, I suppose, or on the dock. Dock or pier? I guess it could be either or, right? Uh, all right. And there's going to be one behind the rock here. So you should be able to take out your M60. And then for the other two here in the boat, uh, you can use your M60 if you want or your sniper. I decided to go ahead and do the sniper you know, to kind of keep myself far away. I should be able to take out the driver and also the gunman. Because each boat has a driver and a gunman. Where are we at? Here we go. So they're close enough. So I'm using my M60 for this. So I actually took out the gunman there. And I don't think the M60 can target onto the driver, so go ahead and use your sniper to take the driver out. And see, that's what I like a lot about this sniper rifle is, you know, if you don't get it right away, you don't have to wait for him to reload. It's almost like an automatic sniper, kind of. Anyway, so after you're done, there is a health pick up there if you need it. Uh, get into the boat, and then take the weapons to Toshiko's contact. So, you're gonna have to go quite a bit up north. Again, it was so hard for me to see or to drive I was having to keep an eye actually on my radar here to see how close I was to the land. Uh, and also know that as you're making your way north, there will be more uh, Yakuza boats coming after you. You don't have to worry about them. Just keep on heading north and ignore them. Um, and, oh, <laughs> if you can. See, here we are coming into the land. But I should have been a little bit more out into the uh, middle of the river here. but Or estuary or whatever. Uh, and I was like, oh no, but... Wait. Yeah, you know, ramp over that. <laughs> okay, so, and then I think there's going to be a couple more coming through. Like I said, I was just having to look to see. Uh, I hate this. Did it fog up for you all in this mission, or is it just my game that happened here? Yeah, I was trying to take him out, but it's like, you know what? Now they're so far behind me, it doesn't really matter. And all I have to do is go to the marker anyway, and I'll end it, right? So. Woo wee! That's some damn fine artillery you got there, boy. You know, I do so much business at these docks, I should have set myself up here, not halfway down that goddamn island. Well, it's been a blast. All right. Obviously, that's Phil Cassidy. You know, he's been in so many Grand Theft Auto games. And uh, Phil, Cassidy's, Phil Cassidy's gun shop now has the minigun in stock, which is the best weapon in the game. So go ahead and head on down here. And of course, in Grand Theft Auto 3, you'll know that he did move up to the uh, dock area up north. Uh, anyway, so go down into here and let's see. Switch or continue over, scrolling over a little more. And here is the minigun. And kind of brighten this up. Come on. Here we go. So there's one. Brighten up. Two, three, okay, or right, well, two, whatever. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I had to do a little cut there <laughs> um, because I accidentally like targeted the uh, gun shop owner, and yeah, he killed me. Anyway, so uh, make sure you save your game on the way down to Phil Cassidy's, and then get like three or four minigun ammo, whatever, and you'll be at ninety-five percent towards one hundred percent completion. So that is it for this video, everyone. I love you all. Peace out. Till next time. Adios. Bye.